Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Let's Talk Shop. My name is Debbie Demartini, Certified Clinical Thermographer with Thermal Body Scan in Santa Cruz. And today, the topic of my video blog is the gallbladder. Uh, I know, exciting stuff. Um, actually, it, it hits close to home because I'm having some issues with my own gallbladder. So I've been doing a lot of research about gallbladders and I thought I would share this information with you because I'm learning all this interesting stuff. Uh, so anyway, gallbladder is an organ and it's located up underneath your liver and what happens is your liver produces bile um, that's needed for the aid of digesting your foods that you eat and so the liver produces the bile and then it sends uh, a portion of that bile to the gallbladder for storage and when you eat something that the bile is required to help digest um, more so with fatty heavier foods the gallbladder will contract and will squeeze that bile into the large intestines to help aid in digestion. And what I found in my own quest for information is that uh, there's a variety of different things that can kind of go wrong with these little organs. Um, the bile ducts can become uh, clogged with bile or with stones is what typically does it. Um, your Gallbladder can make stones, which it's not supposed to do. It's supposed to just store the bile. But stone uh, production, you know, there's a lot of different thoughts about what causes that. There's different types of gallstones. Uh, some gallstones are uh, a result of cholesterol levels being high. That can create a gallstone. Um, there's ideas that maybe parasitic or microorganisms get in there and uh, it creates a, a gallstone around those. Um, there's a variety of different things that can cause stones um, and then there's a variety of other conditions um, that can occur if you've if you've got a gallbladder that has stones in it, it's not functioning properly or if it's not um, dumping the bile like it's supposed to the gallbladder itself can actually become inflamed and infected uh, so there's a variety of, of different things that can go wrong um, the gallbladder is one of those organs that typically if you're symptomatic and you're having a lot of problems with it gallstones uh, blockages, infection, they will typically surgically remove that organ. Um, the liver then is responsible for basically directing all the bile into the intestines uh, by bypassing the gallbladder that's no longer there. Uh, one of the interesting things with thermography is that, uh, you know, we're always talking about how thermography looks at your emitted heat patterns and we're able to detect and um, help diagnose disease and dysfunction in your body and in your organ systems based on these heat patterns that your body emits. Uh, the gallbladder is a great example of something that when the gallbladder is actually going bad, it's cold. So the gallbladder, if it's dysfunctional or diseased, will show up thermographically as hypothermic, meaning that it's colder than what we would expect it to be. Uh, just because it's not working properly. Now, if it becomes infected and inflamed, then it would actually show up hyperthermic, so it will be hot. But in most cases, uh, especially with early gallbladder disease, the gallbladder will actually look cold. So it's a great example of a condition that occurs in the body that even though we're looking at your body's emitted heat, we're not always looking for hot. We're looking for cold as well. That can be a sign of dysfunction. So, um, you know, different things um, put you at risk for gallbladder issues. Certainly diets that are higher in refined sugars, flours, uh, fat, and it doesn't matter if it's healthy fat or, or what we call bad fat. Uh, fat is fat to the gallbladder. Um, it can be hereditary. My own mother had her gallbladder removed about the age I am now, so that, that may be what's happening in my case. Uh, but certainly there are other factors. Uh, if you're female, that tends to be a greater risk factor than if you're male, uh, especially females who have had children. Uh, so there's a variety of things. So I, I urge you, if you're having any symptoms um, or problems or you're concerned, uh, to get to get some more information, uh, the gallbladder symptoms typically will occur in the mid upper abdomen, sort of right below the sternum and ribs uh, in the center, and it can be characterized with severe pain. Uh, it can be dull achiness. Um, it can have bloating and gas and uh, belching and a lot of other factors, acid reflux and acid problems. Uh, so it controls and is involved with a lot of stuff. So I, I recommend... You know, if you're thinking that you've got organ systems that aren't functioning properly, you want to get a better look at what your body's doing and how your organ systems are functioning. Uh, thermography is a great painless, no radiation, 
very safe, effective medical screening tool. And I urge you to get more information. Please visit my website, www.thermalsc.com. Uh, certainly, if you would like to call for an appointment, you can reach me at 831 420-7390. And again, my name is Debbie Martini, and thanks for learning a little bit more about the gallbladder, and I'll keep you posted because uh, mine is misbehaving. I, I'm, I'm affectionately calling it my little oyster. My little oyster is working on some very large pearls, uh, so stay tuned for more about that. Thanks.